So right from the start, Jack Eichel was a consolation prize. Those Buffalo Sabres fans in 2015, make no mistake about it, they were tanking hard because they were picturing McDavid in the blue and gold. They had by far the best odds to win the McDavid lottery. I mean, they had 20%. The next closest was Arizona at 13.5. And Edmonton? 11.5% chance, almost 9 whole percent less of a chance to get McDavid than the Buffalo Sabres. So when Bill Daly pulls out that Edmonton card, you can bet that Buffalo fans, they're not happy with their consolation prize. They wanted the big one. So right off the bat, it's not a great start for Jack in Buffalo. But you know what? Fans come around, hey, at least this guy's supposed to be a really good player. I guess we'll be happy with him. He can still be the face of the franchise, I guess. Then his first three years in Buffalo are so bad that they end up picking in the top 10 in all three years, including first overall pick Rasmus Dahlin. But hey, Jack Eichel's emerged as a star player. The new draft picks, the reinforcements, they're coming. Buffalo's going to be good. We're going to make Jack Eichel our captain. We're going to slap a big eight-year times $10 million contract on him and bang we have our franchise captain, number one center to build around. This team's going to be good. And to Jack's credit, he did keep developing and improving even after that contract and the captaincy. And he honestly became a number one elite franchise centerman with that Buffalo Sabres team, especially in his last few years there. But once we started seeing four, five, six years with Jack Eichel never even getting a sniff of the playoffs, and you start to see some of his attitude in the media, that rubs some people the wrong way. So you started to hear the narrative, oh, he's a locker room cancer, he's a diva, he's too much of an individualist, you can't win with him. And every game the Sabres lost, and every time he would come out and blow up on the media, it would get worse and worse and louder and louder. And the final nail in the coffin for Jack's career in Buffalo was in the 2020-21 season where he only played 21 games because he had such a serious neck injury and he wanted to get a surgery that, albeit at the time, was considered risky. And Buffalo said, no, you're under team control. We have you under contract here. We decide what kind of procedure you do. We don't want to risk you not being able to play for us. And by all accounts, at this point, Jack is frustrated. And you can see it even in his Stanley Cup interview yesterday, how grateful he was for the Golden Knights to trade for him and let him have that surgery. And he talked about all the adversity he faced and how happy he was to just be able to play again and have fun at the rink again. That was a shot at Buffalo. So that turned into a whole saga. Obviously, we know the rest. The Golden Knights trade for him. He has his procedure. But what people don't really talk about is when he first came to Vegas, that first year, the quote-unquote Jack Eichel curse was in full effect because it was the Golden Knights missing the playoffs for the first time in their history. And on top of that, Eichel's number numbers weren't terrible, but they were underwhelming for the type of player that he had carved himself out to be prior. And even in this season, like, if you look at his numbers in the regular season, they're not terrible, but they're also not as good as what we used to see from prime Buffalo Jack Eichel. But the Eichel believers always said, you know what, it's still taking some time for him to recover from that surgery. It was a big, risky one. Give him some time and man were they right, because in this playoffs, he absolutely dominated, and they could have absolutely given him the con Smythe rather than Marcia so yesterday. I know they both deserve it, but to me, Eichel was right in that race, man. And he was my favorite person to watch lift that cup yesterday. You could see all the media, all the reporters, all the fans, all the probably other players in the NHL who's saying, you can't win with him, he's selfish, he's a locker room cancer. You could see it all melt away in his face as he became a winner. And it's not like he Phil Kessel this thing, no offense Phil. He came out and he was one of the drivers, one of the biggest reasons why Vegas won the cup. So I honestly love that, and I love that this story of him being a locker room cancer ends with him being a Stanley Cup champion and a winner forever now. It's awesome, and he earned being able to bring that Stanley Cup to the club and dance with it and enjoy it, Jack. I mean, you deserve it. You really earned it after what you went through. It was not easy. So I'm extremely happy for him. Let me know what you guys think about this in the comments down below. Like, comment, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.